Repatha is PCSK9. What does PCSK9 stand for? Pro-Subtilisin kinase inhibitor. Now, what does that mean? The history behind the development of those drugs is that, that drug class is very interesting. I guess I should tell you what it is. It's a new biologically, genetically derived drug class. The big thing for the past five years in cholesterol management. And what they do is they really decrease LDL cholesterol. You know, you think statins decrease LDL cholesterol. These PCSK9s, Repatha is the most common one. They really do. I mean, like 60, 80 percent or more. And so they're overused. They're getting to the point where a lot of insurance companies are covering them now. In the first few years, I don't know what they are now. I don't know if they're still tens of thousands of dollars per year. I'm a scientist. I'm interested in the science side. I will tell you, one of the concerns that I have is whether or not they decrease cardiovascular inflammation. And the reality is there's not a lot of information that would support the fact that they are. So a lot of people are actually on PCSK9 inhibitors and statins. Well, I don't use nearly as many statins as doctors do for the reasons that I discussed. I don't focus quite so much on LDL levels unless there's what we call FH, familial hypercholesterolemia. And even the majority of those folks, the real problem is not the LDL level, it's when they start getting insulin resistance and cardiovascular inflammation. Let me just tell a quick story and then I'm gonna move on. They discovered this drug class in a very different way from the way that they usually discover drug classes. If you look at rapamycin, it's used in a lot of things like stents. Anything that helps with autophagy tends to help with cardiovascular inflammation. I don't use it, a lot of people call me and ask me if I will write scripts for it. I don't because again, it's not really that clear that it's safe. And that's why I don't use it. So rapamycin was found by, you know, the way drugs are typically discovered. They send these people out to these crazy places in the world. And this crazy place was Rapa Nui, otherwise known as Easter Island. You know, the island that has the big head carvings in stone all over the island. They found this chemical that was there ended up rapamycin. That's where the term rapamycin comes from. The local name for that island is Rapa Nui. Now, what's that got to do with PCSK9s? So that was the way the vast majority of drugs are discovered. You know, they'll send people through the Amazon finding these unusual chemicals and then bring them back and find out if they have any impact on different metabolic processes. They did it the opposite way with the PCSK9s. They started looking genetically at people that had low LDL levels. And on this one, they found this cheerleader, this young female in Texas who had a very low LDL level. And what they began to do was look at her specific genetics, her metabolic processes as driven by her genetics. And they isolated the thing that was doing it. And it was a thing called the PCSK9. So what that does, PCSK9 is a mechanism that sticks up out of the liver cell. And I've got this hand, I hope that it's not confusing, but it's looking for and waiting for LDL. When an LDL particle comes by in the bloodstream, it latches onto it, pulls it down into the liver cell and burns that LDL up. Now, when you start looking at people that have FH problems, familial hypercholesterolemia problems, there are about 2000 different genetic variations that can drive that process. The vast majority of them have to do with problems associated with this PCSK9 process. So they started looking at that and they said, well, you know what, if we could find a or develop a drug that inhibited an inhibitor of it. So it's going to sound logically a little bit backwards. Unfortunately, that's the case. It's an inhibitor of an inhibitor of that process. And if you could find one, that would actually decrease LDL. And that's exactly how it happened.